Hi everybody, TJ Maxx Sports Cards here, profiling 1983 Opeachy set. And um, this is the second year in a row that the NHL cards were exclusively Opeachy. There were no U.S. cards issued. And that would be that way for 82 and 83. And then in 84, they went back to Tops and Opeachy again. So um, for these years, all I have is Opeachy because that's all that was issued in the mainstream sets. So let's just go through and start looking at this year. Um, they, they arranged them in order of how teams finished. The Islanders were the best team in the NHL, winning the Stanley Cup for the fourth year in a row in 1982. So they let off the set. Three great players from those teams with Mike Bossy, uh, Denny Potvin, and Brian Trache. And then the team that they faced that year when they won the Stanley Cup in 82 were the Oilers, who they beat four games to none. However, the Oilers got their revenge in 1983, winning their first of five NHL um, Stanley Cups that they would win over the next seven years. And the first player I'm profiling from this year is Paul Coffey, 40-goal scorer, uh, second in the NHL in points that year with 126. For his career, he had 455 goals between regular season and playoffs. Three times James Norris uh, trophy winner as best defenseman. Just an unbelievable offensive defenseman. He had 500-point seasons in his career, second only to Bobby Orr. Nobody had more than one. Tells you the kind of player this guy was. Next to him is Grant Fuhrer, the goalie for those Stanley Cup Edmonton Oilers teams. And then you got Wayne Gretzky, needs no introduction, the great one. This year he had 205 points, 87 goals, which was 31 more than Michel Goulet, who was second with 56. 119 assists. Um, he was the Hart Trophy winner as the MVP, as well as the um, um, the Art Ross Trophy winner as the points leader. And he won a slew of other awards and honors that season as well. But this is his uh, Stanley Cup winning uh, first year with the Edmonton Oilers. Next we have uh, Yari Curry, 50 goal scorer, multiple times with those teams, played on that line with uh, right, uh, right wing with Gretzky. And you got Marc Messier, who is probably one of the top six or seven players in NHL history in his own right. He played on these Edmonton Oilers teams as well. Uh, this would be his fourth year card. And Ray Bork, um, Hall of Fame defenseman, as all these players are Hall of Famers with the uh, Boston Bruins. And won a Stanley Cup, I know, with the Avalanche in the 90s. Rookie card of Phil Housley, uh, Hall of Fame defenseman with the Sabres. Next to him is another Sabre, Gilbert Perrault, who was, uh, he anchored that French connection line of the uh, 70s with Rene Robert and Rick Martin. So he was the center on that line that was known as the French connection. Very underrated player here in Ron Francis. I mean, this guy is second all-time in assists, and probably nobody even knows that much about him. He's top five all-time in points. He is... Um, just one of the greats of his era. Um, won, won some cups, I know, with the Pittsburgh Penguins when he got traded from the Hartford Whalers. Uh, the Whalers um, now are the Carolina um, Hurricane, but back then they were the Hartford Whalers on their cool green jerseys. So just a guy that's, I think, not really as recognized in NHL history as he should be. Here we got Marcel Dion and Guy Lafleur paired up together, just as I when I did my 71 profile when they are both rookies. Next to each other once again. Uh, this time Dion's uh, donning the, the purple and yellow of the uh, Los Angeles Kings. And you still have uh, uh, Guy Lafleur in his classic Canadiens jersey. Peter Stastny. Uh, this guy uh, was the 1980 Czechoslovakian Player of the Year. One of the first major players along with his brother to defect from the Soviet bloc country of Czechoslovakia. And came to Canada, signed with the Quebec Nordiques, um, endeared himself to the fans by learning to speak the French language. Um, he was a six-time All-Star. He was a rookie, um, only ro the first rookie, I'm sorry, to score 100 points in NHL history. Uh, scored uh, 434 goals, I believe, and is um, in the top 35 in scoring all time. Just uh, another guy that's an, an outstanding player and a courageous player. To do what he did is just amazing um, by defecting and taking that risk um, for his life to come to the United States, uh, to come to Canada, I'm sorry, and uh, play in the NHL. So him and his brother deserve a lot of credit, opened the door for other uh, defectors from the Eastern Bloc. 
Mike Gardner with the uh, Washington Capitals. And then next to him is uh, Scott Stevens. He was a very physical defenseman. He was known as Captain Crunch uh, when he was uh, playing in the NHL in the 80s and 90s and 2000s. He played 22 years. Um, it wasn't He was an offensive defenseman to some degree, but he was much more well-known for his defense and his hard-hitting. Won three Stanley Cups with the New Jersey Devils. Um, was, you know, sometimes a controversial player because they thought he was a little too physical, but I think he had a reputation for being a fairly clean player overall. His career ended when he got hit by a slap shot, had post-concussion uh, syndrome, but again, he played 22 years, so he had a very long, storied career. And then... Next to him is the late um, great player Dale Howarchuk for the Winnipeg Jets. I know he played for the Sabres as well. And just, uh, he was a tremendous uh, center in his own right. A little overshadowed by the other big names of the day, but uh, was a great player. So again, this is the 1983 Opeachy set. And um, just a, a profile of many of the greats of that time. And before I depart, I just want to recognize um, hockey, vintage hockey doesn't get the love um, that some of the other sports get on YouTube, like baseball and basketball. But um, I'm trying to build up a little bit of that by profiling some of these players and hopefully getting people some idea of just how great they were. I do want to call out um, CyGuy29 in my video, C-Y-G-U-Y-29. He is um, a newer YouTuber. I enjoy his channel. Um, Please consider supporting him. He does. Um, he's a, kind of got a really nice conversational style to his videos that I like. He does his uh, craft and uh, card series where he each week profiles a craft beer along with going through some cards. And I just think he's a guy that's real passionate about the hobby and just a really um, outgoing, uh, friendly conversational style that I like in his videos. It's Cy C Y G U Y twenty nine, all one word. Cy guy twenty nine. I believe that's short for uh, Cyclones, because um, he's a big uh, Iowa State Cyclones fan. So everybody have a, a, a great day, and I will talk to you soon.